Ravi Bree and you're listening to We Think Radio. You're locked on to We Think Radio. We Think Radio. You are locked on to We Think Radio. We Think Radio. And you're locked on to We Think Radio. All our toes are here in my Jenny Chelly. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. And again, it's me, Amelia B, with KBTV. And we are back in the U.S. Can you believe it? We were just in Trinidad. Now we're back in the U.S. And we ran into the wonderful Karen. How are you? I'm fine. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, it's my third Chutney in the Park event. That's right. And I'm excited before I take the stage. It's always a wonderful family cultural affair. Well, in regards to family and culture, I mean, you do a lot of these shows, so, you know, different places, different time. What makes it different here that you're coming in in Florida? I mean, what's your fan base in regards to how they welcome you? Well, you know, uh, Florida is actually my hometown if you really think about it. Before, before I moved to Trinidad, I was based in Florida. Oh, okay. So it's, it's almost, in essence, returning home. You know, and, and um, a lot of people when I go out in the crowd, they tell me, you know, I remember you when you were a young boy, you know, I remember you. So, I mean, it's always, it's, it's a wonderful experience. It's, it's, it's like catching up with, with family, people who have, who have known me since, you know, God knows how long. And then on top of that too, it's, it's an honor and a responsibility of sorts to, to be part, to be able to, to carry that cultural flag of Trinidad and Tobago. With not only the chutney that we have on display here tonight, but as well as the soca, which I am proud to represent. Oh, great. Well, let's talk a little bit about your memory lane here in Florida. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh <laughs> you've, you've done a different shows, not just in Florida. Yeah, like I said, you've been in Tampa. That's why I met you before. Yeah. Um, but in regards to your song, in regards to your music, you have done a lot of different things in regards to this, just the soca chutney, but more of the... You know, turning it into more of a, a crossover. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm doing this because I don't know what I want to call it. I mean, I hate to say that, but your music, the genre that you're putting out there, has been very also crossed in the American pop kind of way. Your last video was just phenomenal. I mean, it was something that you would never ever expect. And a normal, I mean, not that Trinidadians are not um, interested in doing something different, but talk about getting out of the box. You're literally in one. Yeah, I mean, and it's such a competitive market when you're talking about people who are releasing songs and videos all at the same time of the year, each and every day. It's an extremely competitive market and one of the things I was proud about that video for um, was that I'm, I'm able to say with pride that it was 100% local, a, um, a, a local production team. From Everything was done locally, the scenes, all of, all of the shots local. So I mean, it's, it's really, it's good to be able to show the world that, you know, we're capable now, you know, we Absolutely! We can stand up on, you know. Some of that. You could have sworn, I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, Trinidad? And the music I mean, not though. that I don't love my culture and I, I don't believe that we can do it, but yeah. that was such a well done video. I mean, I really thought that you came up to the U.S met with someone and got this done and you know I, I looked into it maybe I'm a little too nosy I'm sorry and I looked at the persons that was you know part of it and everything and yes you're right they were all based your camera guy the the film and everything was all based in Trinidad and Tobago I mean we talk about crossovers all the time we have Masha Montana we have Bungie Garland that's out here yeah. now putting the soca music out in the United States yeah. and then you bringing something like this to the table putting out a video a musical video that you were swore it was made here in the US it's definitely I mean, the, the times are changing, the music, the industry is in such a beautiful place right now of transition and change and uh, I look forward to every year seeing where it's going to go and being able to be part of at the cusp of that change is something I take, you know, very, very seriously, you know. And Absolutely. The, uh, and I know, I know I've been dabbling with, with the soca and, and cross, fusing it, if you will, with um, different sounds and um, I've just been very fortunate to have a very loving and warm, receptive audience to embrace what I do each and every year. I'm very blessed for that. Oh, God. And they could look forward to more and more surprises. And I take pride in that too. Every day <laughs> I surprise my audience, I surprise my fan base with a, with a new edgy song. That's right. I mean, you're not just an edgy song. You're an edgy looker too. I mean, the way that you carry yourself, the way you dress, the way you do what you do, k -Rex. I mean, you do identify yourself different than a regular, you know, singer, an artist out there that's in the industry. And, you know, you talk, we talk about it all the time. What else is Trinidad going to do? And you guys are just constantly doing something totally different, totally energetic, totally so rich and fresh. Rich you know what I mean? Rich is the key word. Then. Exactly. <laughs> but so, that, that's the name of the game, you know? We have a responsibility uh, uh, as the young generation coming up in the game to show Trinidad and Tobago that, yo, 
it's safe to pass the torch on. You know, the future of the culture, the future of the music, the future of our people, it's in good hands. <laughs> it's in good hands. I love and it, I love it. You know what? We're gonna take it to the world. And we're not gonna just take it there for a moment, not just for a brief moment in history, but we are going to take it there as part of a year round of 365 day of the year. Part of the world. We're gonna be with Trinidad and Tobago is going to be embraced by the world. The world is ready to embrace us. Oh my god. So now we're gonna reach out, we're gonna take what's ours. Oh, we're gonna I share love our it. culture it's with the world, we're gonna share our music and love. Oh gosh, we're too festive. We're too festive. <laughs> we festive. Everything we like to party for. <laughs> so, okay, Rich, I mean, we're, you, you're talking about your music, you know, putting it out in the world, bringing it here in a different genre, in a different aspect. You're here in the United States. Tell me, what next are we going to expect from Kevin? I am going to make it my mission to bring. And don't get me wrong, I'm going to bring back. I'm going to remind people of the art form of soca, soul calypso. Oh wow. We need to remember as Trimbegonians as yes when we move forward, as important as it is to pro, you know, progress and evolve, we must remember where we came from. Absolutely. So I want to remind the youth, I want to remind the young generation where our heritage comes from, what it means to be a Caribbean person. I'm from Caribbean heritage. I'm gonna share it with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no other way I'm gonna say I'm, I'm taking this thing to the world. <laughs> well, you and not for it. a minute, not for a day. I'm gonna take it to the top. Well, you hear it right here on KVTV. K Rich is ready to share K Rich with the world, and we're happy that you're sharing it with us. Now, in regards to your fan base, I mean, how was able people are able to get a hold of you? I mean, we're all about the buzz. I'm sorry, Definitely Facebook, no, Twitter. No how do we get you? No apologies needed. I'm actually how do I very. You? <laughs> I'm very, very interactive with my fans, and I keep in touch with them as much as they keep in touch with me. Absolutely. Um, I'm very easy to find on Facebook. K dot R I C H. That's K Rich. Also on Twitter and Instagram, both have the same ID, 868-K-R-I-C-H, that's 868-K-R-I-C-H. Alright, well thank you so much for your interview, k -Rich. Again, it's Amelia B. with KVTV. And just to remind everyone, we are backed up today by We Ting Radio. Thank you for their sponsor and their support. Again, it's Amelia with KV and it's k -Rich. So enjoy the day. We Ting Radio, you are the baddest by far.